I'm Sarah Lane. I was born in San Francisco and I'm a soloist with American Ballet Theater. I've lived a lot of different places. I was born in San Francisco. Um, my family moved when I was one to Pennsylvania. We moved from there when I was three to Memphis, Tennessee. And then um, when I was 11, we moved to upstate New York. I have so many good memories, but I had one uh, performance. It was a freelance performance that I did of Giselle. It was a really special performance, but like I said, there's, there's a lot of performances that I'm thinking about would make me smile or that I have good memories of. So. Before I go onto stage, uh, I guess I have a lot of excitement. And a lot of that excitement can feel like nerves, but it's more, um, I'm very perfectionistic. I get very focused. I also like to get into my character, so I try to really get into the style of, of what I'm about to do and um, you have nerves before you go onto stage, but once you get onto stage, it's it's you should feel really free. When I uh, worked with Black Swan as the primary dance double for Natalie Portman, I realized that dancing for film and for live performance is very different. The challenge for dancing on film is that you never know when you're going to shoot. You can't be physically prepared or warm and you shoot a, a few seconds of a clip over and over and over so it's not very inspiring. Another part of the movie that was a little bit difficult was that all of the fuete turns that I had to do and a lot of the other turns were to the left and if you're a dancer you know that it's pretty difficult and pretty awkward so one day they did a shot that was really close to uh, to my feet. When I brought my foot out to do the round de jam for the foote, the camera was about an inch away from my toe, so I couldn't move at all. I had to stay in the same spot. The thing about live performance is that uh, there's a lot more nerves that go along with it because you only have one chance. You go out there and whatever happens, happens. You're never going to get it back, you know? And what you bring to the stage is, is I think, something very special in that moment. If you're planning on being a dancer or you are a dancer and you um, have questions about how to keep yourself healthy, that's totally normal because everyone goes through that. It takes a lot of years. It took me a lot of years to find a balance of how to keep myself healthy. It comes with growing up too, that as you get older, you're able to have more of a perspective and, and keep your the health of your body the biggest priority. I think in today's culture, I think a lot of the artistry has gotten lost. I, I do think it's incredibly important to educate yourself in the arts, in, in music, in, in dance. Those things can be so exciting too. There's just so much work and so, so much soul that has gone into what uh, artists have to, to offer. And now audiences want to come and see more pirouettes or higher jump or like all of these uh, tricks and I don't think that is what ballet is and I, I want people to really understand what ballet is and not get carried away by all of those tricks. Those things are great and you need to have technique and you need to be able to do those things but there's also a line where um, the artistry can't get lost.